And we're back. So what was that question you asked me, Dominique? How does a woman cater to a man? Hmm. Let me see. Realistically. Do I answer this? Take the finances out. Stop looking for my money. Okay, are we saying <laughs> how do I feel like? You should be catered to. Maybe. Justin. Yeah. 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 Ooh, that's a good question. Uh-oh. Oh, ladies, 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 listen. Um, Let me see. I think maybe. Have your basketball shorts ironed. <laughs> right. Right. Be ready to. I barely even wear basketball shorts. <laughs> um, Let me think. I don't know. I, I feel like. No, for sure. real, though. But, but I mean, that's different. Okay, okay. Back in the day, though, yeah, I was wilding. Wilding. Yeah. Who, who was Justin back in the day? He sounds so interesting. Uh, <laughs> He's nothing to write home about, bro. Trust me. <laughs> I was there for the Justin back in the day. <laughs> you, you think this is a hot mess? Just imagine. <laughs> you winning this episode. Huh? Yeah. You gotta give it to <laughs> She's tapping that ass today. <laughs> no, the old, I, was, I was wild, though. I was wild. Okay. But I was just a product of my environment. What, what I was doing was it was normal. It was cool. And it was presented to me. Oh, like, I hate takes- niggas. I hate niggas so much. <laughs> we all was in the same environment. Right. <laughs> I was just, did better. I was, like Prezi said. I was said, just the product of my environment. I was. Okay. I'm fighting demons. Nigga, you the demon. You the demon. You just on the road. Yeah, she get, she, she getting, getting hard. hard. You should, I want to play that song. <laughs> You play too much of it. <laughs> From now on, every episode, when you say hi, to, my powers. <laughs> when you say hi to the people, I'm playing that in the background <laughs> every day. Um, oh now I don't know though. I, I, yeah, just young Justin was wild. I was young though. I was young, taking advantage of uh, opportunities. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, it could have been worse. I don't have a bunch of kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you're very careful. I was. Wild. Oh, you just covered. He's Your mom good. pray a lot though. She does. That's I do good. too. That's good. What's Kate? What do you guys? How do you feel like um, a women cater to man? Maybe um, I'll give a better understand uh, thought, better thoughts once you guys start talking. I feel like I spend a lot of time doing housewife shit. Yeah. Okay, being a fuck boy to a wife. A wife and I wasn't no wife, but Sometimes it was like I was doing things and like I'm I'm your girlfriend, so I'm gonna cook for you. I'm gonna do. Mind you, y'all, this. Results not typical, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this happened for Disclaimer. one nigga. Cooking, I'm doing laundry, I'm doing all the shit, you know? Wait, like, you but, were cooking? Yeah. Sucks for him. I'm sorry, Finnis. He really enjoyed my food. That's that's damn near, uh, that's worse than cheating. Feeding somebody what you cook is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where y'all was going. I'm like, what? <laughs> Justin. I gotta fight back. <laughs> my mama told me somebody hit me in the back. <laughs> you me no, like she's that. already slapped your ass. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> so cooking, I don't think that's I catered. I mean, I don't like you know, like just making. It's not. That's not catered. I told you to change with the love. Making it feel like you know, like making making me feel like a king. No, no, I don't like that talk. Just making what what do you need in that moment? But also, I'm not finna be the person that's overextending myself, and and you don't give a fuck about what I need too. You know, what well, like, goes both ways? It should be. So mutual. so how does how does a man cater to lease to low to key lease, low key stupid lease? You know, <laughs> <laughs> the way can't forget your mind. middle name. Hmm? Your middle name, stupid, low key stupid. When we thought about your name, Justin, for this, that's dumb. <laughs> you don't have one that's yet. Stupid. Wait, wait, you're trying to come back right now. Wait. That's, that's let's see stupid. what you want. No, I, I'm trying to throw off her thoughts. I know. <laughs> did you forget? Oh, no. Oh, okay. uh, um I did. Okay, wait. Yes. What you want, Lee? What, yeah, what's what's, what's oh, the way to my heart? You? Okay, bam. The way to my heart. Is food I, absolutely? Oh, wow. What I swear, it's not food, to buy you a meal. No, food, it's, it's not. No, I'm not. I'm not saying like just buy me a meal and I'm happy. But also, it's a lot of shit that I I can do for myself that I don't I don't oh, need so a nigga to do. Independent. Shut up. I'm not Miss Independent because, like I told right y'all, <laughs> I, I broke niggas don't deserve no pussy. Oh, but <laughs> but. I'm I'm I, I am very simple though with yeah. it. Like I'm low man. It's the it's the thought that counts for me yeah, to be sorry. honest. I like thoughtful shit. Look at I her. like she exp- can't wait to go. I like as soon as I ask you this question from the beginning, she's been dying to talk. <laughs> dying. Let's, yeah. let's hear it. Go. Let's hear it. Yeah, let's hear it. Look here. Okay. 
I already get. I don't know why people perceive I'm high maintenance yeah, or intimidating that, or why I just take care of myself. That's no, that's not why. Why? Why do you give off the intimidation thing? Yeah, why? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. Saying, do you I, get the intimidation vibe? I'm not intimidated by her, but I can see how some. How I, I've been told her. that too many times, and it's so weird. Um, maybe it goes back to what we talked about earlier, as far as your voice, though. I think that plays a big part in it. Because some people's, some, <laughs> seriously though, some people's voice uh, is just perceived different. Some people, you can walk in a room and they can talk, and everybody will stop talking. I feel like you have a voice like that. Oh no, that's scary. I'm really very shy. <laughs> in public speaking. Oh, <laughs> in public, public speaking? speaking, yeah, I'm super. It's wild. So if we did a live podcast with an audience, you wouldn't be interested. I would do it, but uh, I had a shot in the back. I had a shot in the back, like a shot. You, you had a shot on. Back. You had a shot on on stage. You we can drink. Oh, you know what I mean. That'd be cool. I think, but I think the more you do this, because you get more it, comfortable. It, yeah, yeah, you'll get more. Because I, I don't think. Do you get nervous before we film this? Oh no, I'm comfortable. You're comfortable just because. Yeah. What if we like have people in the background? You think you'll be nervous? No, I won't want their feedback. So. Yeah, I'll include them. But go ahead. How do we? How does a man cater to you? Woo! The tab went up. A Birkin bag. Period. No, honestly. Yes. No, I don't want that. Mm-hmm. I want the amount to get a commercial building, though. Put a building. I'm really about flipping money. Like, I want residual income. Like, I don't want us to have to go too far for the bag. So you really want a sponsor? A sponsor? No. Investor. Sponsor. No, just. Have a hustle <laughs> that I can just make clean. That you can benefit from. <laughs> that I can make clean. Like, <laughs> come on, have a hustle I can make clean. Um, if, okay, if you had a night. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish your cater. Your catering to me, I mean, you just got to. Honestly, you have to love yourself to cater to somebody else. Mm-hmm. You can't just be. If you wouldn't rub your own feet with lotion, why, why would you rub somebody else's feet with lotion? Like, right. It's just little things. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Catering to me. Yeah, I feel like it just seemed like romantic. It sounds romantic, you know. Like, That's a hard so question romantic. to answer, though. It is. That's why I was it stuck is. too. Just it because uh, I think it goes without saying most of the stuff that we feel like is catering. I don't even think it's catering. Though. I just think it's common courtesy. I don't think I need a woman to cater to me. I thought catering is like ride or die, like ride or die for my nigga. Okay, so I so that maybe that's why I thought it was because right we all coming with different different definitions. Because I'm thinking of the Destiny's Child song. <laughs> me, me too. But that's yo okay. I go hung like you won't go hungry. It could be thought out. It could be bought DoorDash, burnt a little. But I, that's what catering to me though. Catering to feeding me it, feeding can't be catering. See, to so me. we don't know how to cater to a man then. No. I, I just think you guys are like Is it food and sex? No, I don't even think it's sex. I, I think you guys are are um and not not in a disrespectful way, but I think you guys are like dumbing it down a little. Not saying that you're dumb, but like dumbing down the. I think you're calling us dumb. No, I'm not. I mean, you. Yeah, I'm calling <laughs> you dumb for sure. No, she's dumb. Okay. You're not dumb yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Spell it. Dumb? Spell it. D U M M M L I S A. Okay, okay. Catering to. Okay. No, let me finish. So I, I just think that it's uh, cooking for somebody's sex. Like, that's. That's basic normal now. Yeah. It's basic now. So I don't, I don't, I wouldn't class. So it's catering is for me would be like okay, if I come to you and and uh, and that's why I mean read the room with me. Mm-hmm. When I, if I come to you and I'm venting about something and something's bothering me, mm-hmm. I don't need you to make to personalize it for yourself. Sometimes I need you to just just listen. listen. Okay. okay. So the type of person okay. I am, when if I feel like you're catering to me, mm-hmm. if you usually would say something and make it about yourself, but this time you don't because you know I don't like. Yeah. That's kind of how okay. I define. Okay. Kind of going well, out. That's different. I gotta know though? my nigga. Duh. Have, yeah. <laughs> Some you people don't like, date right. Yeah, that's why I'm not dating. And the sex will automatically connect us before we even get to know. Well, clearly, it, I mean, that's how relations have been going for Lord knows how long, and it's not. It's not it's working. Not very effective. <laughs> it's not working no more. I'm sorry. It's not so, working. Uh, do you agree with me though for the catering thing? Oh yeah, I, on that level for sure. Yeah. Like I think you need a best it, friend. You need a best friend. Like, you need mm-hmm. to know what's going on. You need to know, like, how I'm going to react to this. Back to trigger. She said, when I get mad, I get big mad, you know. But you know that. You know, like, you know. So it's like, uh, be the yin to my yang. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Be what I need when I need it. Whatever mm-hmm. like that whatever is. And is. I'll be what you need when you need it. Mm-hmm. Whenever that is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Loving is, ugh. What? 
It's tough. Exhausting. If you ain't seen it, it's, it's you trying to shit. It's new. Everything is new. Like it's like having a newborn kid trying to love somebody else. But even <clears throat> even if you have seen it, right? Let's say if you uh, let's say if you look at the most successful couple that you mm-hmm, can pinpoint, mm-hmm. right? In your head, you don't even have to say a name. Ari and Back. I'm rooting for them all the way. They are. Cu- I like that shit. Like. I don't care to hide my nigga. I don't care to hide my bitch. And she said it on live. Like, if you fucking my nigga, keep it to yourself. Period. Like, why you want to be known? Like, all them little bitches that told on baby, you bad for business. Real talk. Yeah, sure. you're, you're bad for I, business. Take disagree. your check. Now, if you didn't get no check, then you're done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's on you. <laughs> that's on you. Exactly. But gener- it has changed so much. Yeah, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just think that, um, I don't know, man. Like everybody wants to know Sierra's prayer for Russell, and it's not—it's—it's it's really not no prayer. You just have to know that you are ready to be with somebody. Like, how do you know when you're ready though? How I asked myself like weeks ago, like, could I the person who I think I might fuck with? I'm like, can I lick this nigga balls every day? Whoa! I'm t- dead. I take it that far. I take it that far. You have to so being submissive is deeper than listening. Do you have trouble being submissive? Because you say that a lot. What being submissive? submissive? Yeah, yeah like listening is hard for me. Why is that? And then you say you don't. You're not intimidating. Isn't that contradicting? <laughs> no, it's, it, I don't want to be. I don't want to be reared towards bullshit. Like if you need it, if you need, say you like, okay, babe, I need twenty grand. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. What's the blueprint behind the twenty grand? I'm not gonna go get twenty grand out of our safe, out of our account, and it doesn't make sense. That's not me, and I don't want you to think I'm non-supportive to the idea, but. People do fugazi business these sure. days, so it's like I want this to make sense for you. But I don't even think that def- defines submissive, though. Okay. Submissive means listen and follow you. No, it doesn't. Submissive do mean follow a man. No, it doesn't. Well, okay. Well, what PSA: do you mean? I need the niggas like Kodak Black. What he said. <laughs> You're he always said he referencing. Needs, a fucking he said song. he need him a little baby who don't <laughs> listen. Okay. <laughs> and that's me. He said, I'm go, hard. He said go and listen. I oh, need I a little baby who go and listen. Oh, go well. listen. Or, oh, yeah. Don't listen or whatever the fuck he said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Go listen. Go ahead, Jeff. Oh, um, what were we even saying? That's the clap. Keep... Hey, that's the clap though. That is a hit. Yeah, that's that is a hit. <laughs> um, yeah, tell us what is submissiveness. What's loyalty? What is this stuff? Okay, so I, I look at submissiveness as like um um not listening, but it's almost like a trusting thing. So what you oh, said, okay. what you said as far as like the, the investing, okay, if I take the 20 grand and do this, like mm-hmm, what's the blueprint mm-hmm. behind it? But I look at it as like, trust me enough to follow my lead. Ooh. And trust me enough that I'm going to lead us into the direction. Now, granted, I'm not, me personally, I'm not ever going to be in another relationship until I know I'm ready to lead. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So with that being said, I feel like that's, I can't expect you to be submissive if I don't <laughs> feel like I'm even ready to lead you. Got okay. Me there personally. we go. There we go. But yeah. being submissive, I think it's just if you just if if it's some you if you come to me and say, hey babe, uh, I think I want to invest this twenty grand in something, and then I say, well, okay, well tell me about it. Mm-hmm, like what's your mm-hmm. plans? Blah, blah blah. And then you get mad. Say, so, so pretty much the same thing. Like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's that's. I did not tell him follow. But that's not listen though. Listen means like I'm still need go, to go get go get me some water from the refrigerator. Oh no 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 no! Grab me the remote. You gonna go get this? You you, you, you don't That's leave it. you don't leave the house tonight. I'm I'm going out with my boys, but don't leave. We're both That's going listening. We're like both going when you say <laughs> listen, that makes you seem like a child. That's what women I mean. But I feel though. like also too like Culture-wise, trust like, like that. Is. Like if you want me to trust you enough to be like I'm gonna follow your lead, we're gonna do like you know like you have to show me that you are trust worthy well first. obviously you know like you got to show me that you're that i can trust you for sure because that takes trust is the one thing like i feel like it take a long time to build it take mm-hmm. three seconds to fuck up exactly. and then it's, it's just like to, it's then it's never gonna be yeah, the same that's again a fact. that's a fact so why why do, so you feel like if, if if you're in a relationship and you guys uh somebody uh cheats on each other or break up is it is it pointless to stay back together if it's never going to be the same because you're pretty much walking into a world full of doubt and question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like signing up for drive myself crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? A lot of reassurance. That's yeah. you know, like yeah, like it. So, it, so you feel like if, if one of those um, ultimate mistakes are made in a relationship, you should just end it for good? Well, I think it's just a lot of times we think like we can make it work. We can get through this. We can get through this. And like we've been told in relationships, you work through things. Right. Like you know, and that is true. You do. 
But at the same time, if both people aren't doing the work, because at the end of the day, like it's, it's going to be shit. Right. Period. It right. doesn't. There's no picture perfect relationship. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, unless both people are willing to do the work, it's no point. It, we shouldn't be back together because we're going to be talking about this same shit every single mm-hmm. day because mm-hmm. you're not really over it. Right. I'm not really changing my actions for you to be over it. Mm-hmm. You don't feel, you know, like you don't feel that reassurance. You don't feel uh, secure enough in our situation mm-hmm. to know or, or I'm not doing something to make you feel secure right. enough, you know? Like, I think, yeah, it, it has to be a... It's work on both parts. For sure. <clears throat> And it sucks because if one person isn't just, I mean, what if that day one person doesn't feel like holding up their end? Mm-hmm. Then right. That's going to be a rocky day. Yeah. But that's why communication is important. It's yeah. everything. Communication. Everything. For sure. And what I said, reading the room, some days I just might not feel like it. You know, maybe it's, it's been a right. long day. I don't really need, or maybe I'm. And up. it don't have nothing to do with you. Exactly. You know? Right. Maybe right, I'm in a right. great mood and I don't really want to argue. I don't want to be, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be brought down. So I, I think all of those things is what we have to start doing. In order for, at least me, like, I, and I don't know if I have it figured out. I feel like I, I'm mentally almost there to like nice. be that, but I'm. I know one thing. I'm not jumping into anything until yeah. I feel like I'm 100 percent ready. And yeah. that's a level of self awareness that, yes. like, you and your partner have to have. Exactly. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, so if you're there and they're not, yeah, it's not gonna be. But that that's the <clears> scary <throat> part, though. That's the that's the spot that I'm in now. Is because when I'm looking around, if it's somebody just in conversation, just me t- having conversation with you guys, or you know, if I overhear something, somebody in a coffee shop, it, whatever. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I'm hearing certain things, and I'm like, yeah, I don't even want to get, I don't want to play the yeah. field. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just I'm because out. I'm out the because game. I, the field is ghetto. Let me for sure. Right. And and, and then for me being a, a, such a mental health person and all of that, there's no bigger fear. It's almost weird because it's like people ask me all the time, like, how do you deal with mental health? And it's like it's an everyday battle. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Some days, and I, uh, again, we go deep. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, some days are better than others, and yeah. it's like there's nothing more scary. And I had to talk with my therapist. And I was telling her, I was like, it's almost weird because I feel like I'm mentally, my, my mind is clear, mm-hmm. but it's not all the way clear because I'm so scared to go backwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm so scared for something to pull me to 10, step, mm-hmm. 10 mm-hmm. steps yeah. backwards because I'm so used to that. I'm so used mm-hmm. to my life going great and it's something happening. I'm fucking yeah. crying and depressed, yeah. can't sleep, can't yeah. eat. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like I'm almost I'm almost living every day like, okay, this is too good to be true. When is the bad part coming? Mm-hmm. And that alone that's, is that's driving a, my anxiety A insane. self-fulfilling prophecy mm-hmm. at the end of the day. If you're mm-hmm. waiting for the right. bad, exactly. you yeah. feel me? Then yeah. it's inevitable that some bad shit is going to mm-hmm. come. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if you control what you can control, mm-hmm. you know, like live in the moment yep. be happy in yep. the present and yep. it's always gonna be shit that happens exactly. yeah, yeah it's always and you know like depression like you said that's, that's an everyday battle mm-hmm. even on your good days right. you know it's a chance that something could trigger you right. and you just go backwards in a mood right, or right, whatever right. you know like but you gotta find out like how to work how do you work through it in that moment right. like yeah it's it's different for everybody Not but for me that. One thing that has really helped me with, like, depression, anxiety, all of that, like, I, I don't care how I feel. I do a gratitude journal every morning. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just talking about, like, what I'm grateful for. Like, I could be having a fucked up day. It's right. a lot of shit that I wish did not happen right. or whatever. Right. I'm still taking the time to be like, I have this. I'm grateful for this. I'm thankful for this. I'm looking at it like, okay, this happened to me, but guess what? I'm grateful I persevered. Mm -hmm. I'm happy I'm still here. Thank God for my resilience. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, and it it, it really just does shift my perspective of things and, like, the way that I view certain things. Um, And one thing that I read, dang, I wish I had it, but it was like, grace is knowing for certain that you will inevitably, inevitably be hurt again knowing just as certainly that you are strong, Mm -hmm. you are resilient, and all of it will make you more beautiful. It is through brokenness that your light can shine, you will begin again. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like when you have those seasons of depression, no, like I'm I'm starting over, I'm gonna begin again. Like, you know, Mm -hmm. this is, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And then even, first of all, thank you for that. And even to piggyback on that though, when, when when I was in that mind state and I would be waiting for the bad to happen, even if it would be something small, sometimes I would amplify it mm-hmm. and then make it bigger than what it is. And then I, once I came out of it, I'd be like, 
I could get like that shit wouldn't even. But I was so ready for this big, yeah. this big situation to happen to bring me back that sometimes it could be something small. Because like you said, there the, the, the beauty the beauty of uh of this thing that we call life, right? I always talk about this. There's no manual of it. Yeah. So all I can do is give you what I feel is the best in that scenario, right? right Whatever right. the decision is. And when when I started to realize that, it took a lot of the pressure off myself. Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it made it like okay. Nobody knows what the fuck we're doing. Mm-hmm. Everybody's out here living life day by day. So, yeah, I can make it sound good or make you think mm-hmm. I know what I'm talking about. Or I could have went through something similar, mm-hmm. but I never went through it at that time, at that mm-hmm. age, on that day, going through exactly everything you've been going through. Mm-hmm. So, hey, what if, what if you know, we, we all have kids with somebody that we're not with no more. A lot of people have went through that, but they didn't go through the small details that we went through. Mm-hmm. They didn't go through the shit we went to before we right, got to that point. Right, right, That we were already traumatic and already, already right. triggering to the point to where it sometimes compounds on top of each other. Now, yeah. this thing that you, in your eyes is so small, to me, is the biggest deal it's in the, the world. It's the biggest thing, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Because I'm not just taking this one thing in isolation. I'm mm-hmm. taking everything, combining it together. It's a snowball effect. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. It started out as that one thing, mm-hmm. and then it was something else, and then it was something else, and then you just... You're doing good, preparing for your back. Right. Yeah. 